This is so crazy. Wow, hello everyone. Um, oh my gosh, I have that clog clamp thing, you know, in my hair, yeah. everyone, and it just keeps like, I'm really having some struggles, it looks so. very cute though. Thank you, I tried really hard. Um, so I'm gonna say the obvious. Um, we're matching, <laughs> you know, with our literal friendship bracelets. Oh yeah. And yeah, our are. Jennifer Fisher hoops. We are really our a duo. <laughs> yeah, we're really a duo, and we take a lot of pride in it. So, anyways, we are filming a mukbang. 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 I don't know how. To, I literally, I will never know. It's like the GIF gift thing, but that's been settled, right? Should I look it up? I got a Sprite and I drank it all, and this is the worst part. Okay, this is part two of our mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. We don't know. Um, Keaton's figuring it out right now. But we are very excited to be filming today. The first part is on Keaton's channel, so go watch that and then watch this one because all our food is kind of gone. I have some pad thai here. I have five noodles left. We're currently in Nashville filming this. We have Brussels sprouts and then we have some dumplings here. I've actually never filmed a mukbang. I'm supposed to be filming. You've oh never my gosh. filmed? Yes, you have. Have I filmed one? I think you filmed one with Morgan. I don't think that I did. I think I'm maybe I was alive then. Yeah, I think I'm making it up. <laughs> wait, um, wait, 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 wait. I'm supposed to be filming with how to pronounce. Mukbang. 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 We got it. Mukbang. Okay. More you know, guys. So I'm supposed to be filming a one with Lauren, John, and Minnie's. That's what you do with Matt, so it's you and not inspired then. Yeah. So that if that happens, if we ever, if I ever make it back to LA, um, guys, serious issue right now. Um, if anyone has any good advice, let me know. I'm supposed to move out of my house in LA in April, and I don't even know if I'll be able to make it to LA in April. And I was gonna get rid of all the furniture and then figure out what I wanted to keep and whatever, and then like not have a place in LA for a bit. And now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go there, like even fly, and even like pack up my stuff. And I don't want to pack everything up, and I don't want. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so if anyone has a good idea, let me know. Anyways, um, yeah, we just wanted to sit down, chat, relax, hang out with you guys talk about some topics that I have ready. Um, also, not to mention, our screensavers are literally matching. It's us kissing our boyfriend. So it's actually like it's disgusting. So it's, it's literally, really like, so annoying. It's literally like, we're actually so annoying. Okay, um, the first thing that I wanted to talk about with you. I'm scared. I feel is, like I'm back on the hot seat. I just felt like it was fitting with this. It's Trisha Paytas. <gasps> if you guys didn't know, which we did talk about this briefly in the podcast that I mentioned, also my eyes are like watering now. They're like getting really dry, so I don't know what's going on here. <sighs> I'm like crying. Keen is Trisha Paytas' biggest fan, and also I want to be able to eat, and like she'll just kind of take it from here. Um, uh, literally is, you know what we personally really love from, I just got this all over myself, of course. We personally really love the Trisha Paytas um, I love you Jesus. Is that what it is? I love you Jesus music video. If you guys haven't seen it, like you literally have to see it. She's an icon. Except for we want to make it clear that we don't stand for um, a lot of what she says. It's basically anything she believes. But, yeah. But we like love Trisha Paytas. We love everyone. Though. She has very controversial statements. She's had that a we lot don't of controversies that we are just like not a fan of. But as a human being. I watch every single one of her videos, listen to all of her podcasts, stalk her Instagram, solely because I am so fascinated with the person that she is. I think just because she says exactly how she feels, no matter what, doesn't really care about like literally anything. She will just say whatever comes to her brain. And I just find that so fascinating. So I think that's why I watch her so much because I'm so interested in like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so interested in how she is as a person. Okay, how much of like how she feels? Do you think like if she is real? Yeah, I mean, for lack, okay, not even is real, but like would even semi exist in her head if she wasn't like filming her. Or my, just, I literally <laughs> keen insecurity about her like big hand is sorry, really out of new level. That was actually my worst nightmare. <laughs> Wait, what? What was I saying? We're talking about Trisha Paytas and like, um, oh, okay. how much of how much of what she says do we think something about her like, recording her life? Okay, not even as like she's trying to like make up this stuff in her head. I just mean like you're programmed to be that way. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> like I, how much of of what she says do I think like she really like if she that? did if she lived a normal life like how much of this would even ex of this of her would exist? But you know what I'm saying? Is is like she. 
I think that that is her as a person because I think she was born to live. She this was life. born to be like this because from like her old old videos from like when she was even younger, like. She went on every single show she possibly could because she was like, I literally just want to be famous. Like, I remember when I was eight years old and I was obsessed with da da da. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She just, like, I feel like that's just like who she was gonna be no matter what. So, I think, I don't know. I just think that's who she is as a person. For Wanting real? to be famous is like kind of a weird thing. Yeah. To like what? Because I can only imagine that it like actually sucks. Yeah. Especially if it's not for like. So like music or something you're really passionate about yeah i just i mean i never want we always talk about we always talk about this because we're like happy with how our like youtube life is yeah like i love where i'm at on youtube i like my youtube life and i think there's a lot of people that like come on youtube where they've been on youtube and they're just like striving to get lit millions and millions and millions and millions and like yeah like it's it's nice to like have that but like we're not like Posting every single day so we can get millions and millions, yeah. and millions of subscribers. Like that's just like not I honestly probably should strategize for like an audience way more than I do yeah. from a business standpoint, stuff like that. And like I just don't. Mm -hmm. I think probably more when I was younger because that was like a time when people were like popping off a lot. I mean mm -hmm. they still are, but maybe not in the same way. Knew. Like I don't really know how to describe it. But like it's just not something like I don't think about channel growth ever. Yeah, and I, I think when I was younger I did for, more. Yeah, but nothing like. Nothing. I, I'm not striving to be like a team 10 or no. a, like I'm not striving to like live that life I'm like very happy with like the audience that I have Where I'm at like I, I would much rather have an audience of like Like a community. Yeah. that's like close-knit than like a big you know what I mean? Not that mm -hmm. you can't have both. I'm sure you can have both but like it's just not really I don't really see myself as someone with like I don't okay. Here's my other thing. I don't want to have 10 million subscribers because you are always a youtuber when you're at 10 million subscribers It doesn't matter what you do like you are a youtuber yeah. and I like love YouTube and I love making videos But I don't want to be like box in a box with that being said like there's like pros and cons because then you're like you get so many That's me. You that's get so real. many more opportunities obviously, but like there's pros and cons. You know what I mean? No, I know like I have friends who are very very big on YouTube and they like will like reach out and be like how do you like um how do you not let like views and like subscribers and stuff like affect you at all and i'm like i don't know how to describe it but like it's literally like not even a thought that it's i thought not like a subscriber count not subscribers but mm -hmm. maybe it's just not my thing kate and i have a new life plan this is like a nice little thing but Kate and I, I mean, like, I thought of it, and Kate like, kind of agreed, so I think that we're in. But, like, we love Desi, all of them. They're, like, so cute and great. Yes. Desi, Steven, Katie, John. They're yes. awesome. Desi Perkins, mm -hmm. Katie, Steven, John. They're just, like, the cutest little couple duo. Yeah. They're BFFs. Are they all, they're all married, huh? Yeah. Are they married? Yeah. So, like, their husbands are BFFs. And it's the cutest thing I've ever seen, and that's what we yeah because are like strive to do. We're really striving to do that because one traveling together sounds awesome. <laughs> it's also really hard. Like it's pretty rare that couples will have like the girls and the guys will both be best friends. Yeah, it and doesn't like happen often. it doesn't happen often. And like Brandon and Quentin already love each other, and like they're really like their personalities. Our boyfriend's personalities are very similar. <laughs> Speak the devil. Should I answer? Yeah, yeah. Tell him we're talking about him. Uh, babe, oh, baby. babe, uh, we we're just talking about you. Yeah, we're filming right now talking about you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about you because we were saying that our new life plan is going to be for um, me, Kenzie, you, and Quentin. And we're all going to always go on trips together and be a cute little couples duo. Yeah, BFFs. What do you think? Getaway House 2020. <gasps> yeah! Great. We'll do the bunk beds. <laughs> yeah. Great, because the plan Perfect. needs to work. He doesn't know who Desi Perkins is. He doesn't is. really do too much, so like, uh, <laughs> what is it? Do that we're not doing anything. Like, we wouldn't go on a snowboard trip or something like that. So we gotta figure out. He said Keaton doesn't really do too much. <laughs> I literally okay. don't do anything. Yeah, Ken doesn't do anything. Either. I don't really do anything either. So like, it works out. Just travel around and shop at Urban and. <laughs> I feel attacked. We're literally wearing the Urban Crew Nights that we bought in Nashville. We bought in Nashville. You are rude. Look at us. Hey, I don't say nothing bad about Urban. It's Keith's favorite place, so I have never said nothing bad about it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, well, well I'm glad you're on the plan. Thank you. 
they're literally the same person. It's like unbelievable. The more it's actually kind of creepy because Keaton and I are so similar. Like even to the point where like we deal with problems at the same time, kind of thing. Like she'll yeah. mess with me, and I'm like, yeah, literally me right now. And then <laughs> yeah. our boyfriends are the same, which is like a bit much. So and we're also. I say a bit much as we're wearing fully matching outfits that we like planned. We're 22 <laughs> team. Like, <laughs> this is like embarrassing. We should be embarrassed. Uh, okay, so up to the stumpling. Okay. <laughs> up to the stumpling. Up to the stumpling. Okay, so Keaton and I are like, here's the thing. So like we've already kind of established. I'm glad this is like a great thing to just kind of go into. Oh, you know what I wanted? I remembered. One second. I have to pause and not move my arm. My stomach Sorry. is so full and I want five more sprites. I do too. Should we order I'm more sprites? So upset about okay. sprite being gone. So here's the deal. Keen and I are like, I wouldn't say I don't want to say that we're boring. Okay, let me eat this first before. Keen and I are we have like two personalities almost. Like one of them is that we could stay in this Airbnb for four days straight and entertain ourselves and Absolutely. be actually perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. The other is like, and that's typically when we travel with just each other. When we travel with like Danielle and Brooke and them. Which, like, we also are, like, more than down to do. We will do, like, 15 things in a weekend. Yeah. But, like, also... Really busy. Yeah, really busy. Also, just, like, homebodies overall, I think. So... Overall, if we have the preference... <laughs> Alright, guys, no worries. We're back. Up to the floor. And we were using Most people alcohol. shatter wine glasses by drinking them. By drinking wine. Right. <laughs> by <laughs> using a yeah. tripod and it fell off the table and shattered and then she put a new one there. So, so it's not great. <laughs> okay. So what we're saying is that we're just homebodies. Okay, if we had the option to, we would like to stay home most of the time, probably six days of the week. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, like, it's pretty ideal actually. Maybe we would leave on Sunday, go to church yeah. and come home and that would be it. But no, we just really like to stay in our house and I really <laughs> just can't help that. Like I, yeah, like, it just is the way that we are. Also, I think that, I don't know, it takes a lot of inner, not to say it's like hard to be around other people, but I always am like, oh my gosh, it's so much energy. So here's my thing too. To engage. <laughs> okay, here's my thing. I was always an extrovert growing up and like I need to take the test and like see if I still am, but I've always been an extrovert growing up. Now for me to be around a lot of people, it's like exhausting and I don't know if this kind of shifts as you get older. Yeah. I've always been like really outgoing and extroverted and now I'm like, and honestly, I do think a lot of it, now that I have a boyfriend that I'm with all the time, mm -hmm. it kind of like, I can actually just live my dream life and not leave my house because I have someone to see. Yeah. So like, I don't know, because if he wasn't around, I wouldn't be able to do that because I would need to be around people mm -hmm. more. And like, yeah, I see. still see my friends. Like, I mean, I went through a little party phase, but like we haven't, like there's a lot of things, it's just in general <laughs> that we just like don't really do that we're like, are we gonna get older and like regret that we didn't do this? But to me, like thinking about doing them, actually sounds so awful. Sounds miserable. Like, like sounds, I don't have to leave my house. It sounds miserable to think about going through a phase, and this is not to say that anyone's phase is like terrible, but for me, personally, and us as people, sounds miserable to think about going out constantly and because having a party phase because that's just not who we are. You would have to get ready. I already did this, but like, it was like, for a year at like frat, or like for yeah. like college, it wasn't like clubs and stuff. So like I really genuinely, I do applaud people who like can go and like yeah. be that social. But honestly, like I think about, okay, like I, I would have to sleep in a little bit cause I like wouldn't be able to wake up early like my morning routine. Yeah. I would have to work out early the next morning. That would yeah. drive me absolutely insane. I would have to get fully ready. And like, I don't even get fully ready fully ever. Ready and then go out at like 10 PM. Like, the, to seriously, me, and to I'm go out literally at in bed at nine. Yeah. I'm asleep by 9.30. Yeah, it's just like knocked out. KO. So if you are like older than us and you kind of feel the same way and you, not that like either of us are even looking to change our lifestyles at all, we're just kind of looking we don't to be prepared. Want that. I just it. like, we just don't know if when we get older, are we gonna be like, wow, we never had a party face. Am I gonna be like, am I gonna like want that? Like, I'm, am I gonna feel like I miss out on that? 99% sure I'm not gonna feel like I miss out on anything and I'm gonna be very happy about my life. But I'm yeah. like, wow, I can't, 
I don't know, just because like I've never had it. So I'm like, wow, I wonder if I'll be like, Keaton, you never lived. Like, and like, it's really genuinely for like no other reason other than the fact that we don't really leave our houses. Yeah. So that's what it is. It's not like, you know what I you mean? You know what? I think we just need to work on everything in due time. Like, integrating it slowly, you like, know? Like, we'll leave our houses in like, due time. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, <We've> never. <laughs> so, in yeah. a few years, when I leave my house, no, but just like integrating it slowly. Like I pick and choose when I like really commit to something, you know? Yeah. I'm like, this is, are there certain people you that I can You have to let with? me know about like a club scene like two weeks before. No, I have to be able to be for a long time. <laughs> um, yeah. Then there's certain people that I can like always hang out with and then it doesn't, like, okay, if I'm really comfortable with you and I really like you, it's not exhausting for me to be around you. Yeah. But if it's like a bigger group and like, also another thing I've it's like noticed. Coachella. Yeah. Okay, you yes. Know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Another thing I've noticed is that I've always been, like, super outgoing. And I've always had to, like, keep the conversation going and whatever. All 21 years of my life. And then I started dating someone who was just as outgoing as me. And so then I just let him take over. Basically, what I'm saying is that, like, my relationship apparently is, like, ruining my, like, social aspect. Like, yeah, I'm, like, we're dating the same people. Like, exactly. I, but, like, like normally, now I feel like you have to, to keep up. up. Yeah, normally yeah. I feel like you have to keep up. And now my boyfriend it. literally could talk, like, for hours and hours and hours and hours. And I can literally just stand there and be like, no, I and it's like, great exactly. because I'm, like, I'm tired. I, I can't. It. I can't do and it. And it was 21 long, <laughs> hard years of doing that. And like, I liked it at the time. And now that I don't have to do it, I like it so much more. You know? Yeah, that's very, very true. I also just wonder if, okay, if it's common to change from being an extrovert to an introvert, extrovert, extrovert to an introvert, and then I don't know what I'm saying. And at what age that typically happens, I feel like you guys will know. I think it's very common. My next topic that I wanted to talk about is Ashley Graham. She's my latest girl crush, and I'm absolutely obsessed with her. And I also found out, obviously, <laughs> Keaton is also obsessed with her. her. No surprise here. Um, I'm her biggest fan. Pretty Big Deal is so cool. I love how it's filmed. I watch it. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know that I watch it all the time. It's always playing in my house. I'm obsessed with her. I love the Sophia Bush episode. Last that one was the song. best. I know. I haven't, I haven't I listened yet. It. I downloaded it because I wanted to listen, but... I just, like, respect her as, like, a person. Mm -hmm. I just feel like she's so, like, I think she's one. She's, like, very non-judgmental, and she comes from a very genuine place of wanting to know who people are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when she's interviewing people or when she's just, like, talking to them, it's, like, she really wants to know why and what, like, her reasonings are just very, like, thought out and stuff. I don't know. I just really respect her as, like, a person. And she's just, like, calming and she's cool. Her voice is just, like... Yeah. Yeah. And, like, normally, I'm not into the whole, like, mom vlogger type thing. Which is, like, not my vibe. I'm absolutely terrified of pregnancy. Never want... I mean, that's not true. I don't... I'm not getting pregnant. But, like, I'm, like, literally terrified of pregnancy. And, like, I'm just not in the phase... I'm 22. I want kids at 30. So, like, I've got eight years, you know? Which still seems like it's too wow. soon. And, um... Yeah, so, like, I normally, when people start, like, moms, like, whatever, it's just, like, I don't, like, you don't really follow as much, because mm -hmm. they're in, like, a different phase of life. Yeah, I don't and follow I, any mom bloggers. Yeah, right? But now, I loved her episode with her husband, and they, like, meet their son, and it goes on and on. It was really cool. And I actually, like, really love that. I just really, I don't know, her just as a person, I just really think she's great, and I feel like people probably think, I don't know, I feel like you could look at her and think something else. When you hear her talk and you hear like how she's just very interesting. Yeah. Very smart too. Yeah, brilliant. We're her biggest fan. Love her. I love Ashley Graham. I wish I could meet Ashley Graham. I know. I would like actually meet I don't fangirl over anyone. I don't think I would fangirl, but I would be like But I would like this be like is straight literally up like the best hey, thing I ever. I love you. With you. <laughs> yeah. So like tell me why it is eight forty PM and I'm actually exhausted. I'm so tired. What time do you regularly go to bed when you're home by yourself? Do not embarrass me. Is it eight PM? <laughs> <laughs> 8 p.m. for me. Like, if, if like, Quentin is not over at 8 p.m. Like, if I'm by myself. No, I'm not kidding, Kinsey. 8 p.m. I am in my bed. I'm in bed by, like, 8.30. And that's when I start to, like, put on a show. I'll scroll on my phone. I'll do a little Instagram looking. I might go through my emails again. I'll, like, kind of, like, make a little, like, quick list of things I need to do for the next day. Asleep by 9, 9.15. Every night. That's actually me. Every night. Even if not, like, if I have people over, I mean, not that I even have people over right now. Yeah, like, but that's like, a lot of things. My boyfriend's over. I will watch a show or something on the couch, 
like so I'm supposed when to be it hits wide nine, awake, I'm like no I can't watch anything past 8 p.m. because I will fall asleep I'm yeah. out like it's a known thing to where it's like I I won't even like I get no say in what we watch because I'm gonna fall asleep you know mm -hmm. it doesn't happen I also feel like I'm the type of person I hate doing things at night I literally cannot stand doing things at night homework mm -hmm. work anything like that I refuse to do it at I'm, night I would favorite. rather go to bed at 8 p.m. Wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning because I am in the best mood ever and do it all. Yes. But do you know what I'm saying? I just can't do it at night. Morning. Yeah, I'm so much more efficient in the morning. People who stay up till 2 a.m. writing papers, I'm like, uh-uh, not me. Like, yeah, I would, I, I could wake up at 7 a.m. and, like, write a whole thing and be good. I, like, go through phases. Like, sometimes I'm really efficient at night mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm really efficient in the morning. I have not been in a phase where I'm, like, efficient at night in years. Like, I'm not kidding. Until, like, this past month. Yeah. Because I this weird thing. You've, you've always... I feel like you used to be like, oh my gosh, I could sit. Remember, I used to come visit you, and you would be up so late, and I would be like, Kinsey, like I'm so I'm sorry, I'm going else. to bed. It was when, like, it was like the year when you had like all your friends always coming over, yeah, and like, you guys would with always me. like staying at your house yeah. and stuff. So you were just like constantly up, like all night, and I was like, Kinsey, like I literally go to bed. And I would clock. still. I here's the thing, though, I would like, still I remember being early. exhausted. Like, yeah, no, you would did that. You would wake up at five a.m. Like you would literally go to sleep at twelve, and then wake up at five, and I'd be like. Kinsey, I ain't gotta go to bed at eight. <laughs> I literally, there's something wrong with me. It was yeah. not functioning. No, That's not like it. how you used to live. Okay, guys, so if you made it this far, please comment down below where our first couples trip should be because um, we're like really into the idea. We really should have a couples trip. I, I Keaton, you act like I have not been saying this for months. I know, it's just I need to get Brandon to commit. For reals. He'll commit. Flights are cheap right now. Oh, yeah, true. Just be good by him for like December, you know? <laughs> genius, genius. And they like, can't break up with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed oh today's God. video. Subscribe. Um, part one is on Keen's channel. Love you guys so much. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.